Hello everyone, I'm Alex Dykes and today we're inside a 2014 Hyundai Elantra GT taking a look at the optional touchscreen navigation system. Now this is one of Hyundai's older models in terms of navigation software, so do keep that in mind as we go through the system. In addition to Hyundai's newer systems operating on a larger touchscreen display right here in the dashboard, the other thing you'll notice is that in this particular vehicle, we can't just plug in an iPhone or an iPod using the Apple adapter cable. You do have to use a Hyundai specific adapter cable that plugs into both the auxiliary input and the USB input at the same time. Going around the system, we have our power and volume knob on this side, eject button, single slot optical player right over here. This does support MP3 discs. You can press this little button to get a clock display. This little light will light up if you have a CD in the drive. Over here we have a tune button and you press to enter. It also operates as a selector button for your media devices. Over here on this side we have direct access buttons to your radio and your media, AM and FM as you'd expect, XM satellite radio as well. If we press on the media button you'll notice that we have a phone paired right now via Bluetooth. If I press it again and I had another device connected, you could go right on over to your USB device right there. We cannot browse the device via the Bluetooth in this particular generation of the software. However, it does display the track and artist that you're playing if you're actually playing a song via Bluetooth. Very logically, we now have track forward and backward buttons. We also have a sound button if you want to adjust the sound characteristics of this system. Over on the left side of the screen, we have physical buttons for track up down as well as seek up down. If we press over to the right side of the screen, we have a map button. This also doubles as a repeat the voice command button if we were navigating somewhere. As you can see, we do have traffic information displayed on this screen that is provided to us by XM Satellite Data. You can also press these little buttons on either side to raise and lower the navigation volume or mute it. You can press this little button to search for particular points of interest, enable them or disable them on the map and you can also have access to your favorites right up there. You'll notice that unlike some other options, we don't have a 3D view, so we do just have direction up as well as north up, which are roughly the same where we're located right now. If you want to enter a destination, you'll find that over here on the dedicated destination button. This is where you can enter an address, intersection, point of interest search, etc. The voice commands do work very well in this system. One interesting feature is that you can enter addresses while you're in motion. If you want to cancel a route, then you press the route button. That's also where you'll find the route overview as well as route options and ways to edit your route like editing waypoints, etc., detours, and avoiding streets. If we click down on the setup button, this is where you'll find the setup information as well as Hyundai's Blue Link. Now, Blue Link telematics integration with this generation of the software is a little bit more limited than you'll find in something like a Sonata, but we still get the SOS button right up there on the rearview mirror. You can also get downloaded points of interest. You can see how economically you've been driving lately, and you can get system information right there. Moving on down to the phone interface, we do have a fairly typical Bluetooth phone interface. You cannot do text messaging assistant within this Bluetooth phone interface, but as part of the Blue Link system, you can call into the Blue Link setup and then you can dictate a text message into that system over the phone, and then that system will then send a text message for you. It's kind of an awkward workaround I found. You do have to dial an 800 number off the phone using your Bluetooth paired phone, and then it will then again transcribe that message into a text message and send that off to you. Even though this system is a little bit old, it still competes fairly well with the rest of the competition. It obviously doesn't have the same kind of polish that you'll find in the brand new Mazda 3 system, or the same level of features that you'll find in my Ford Touch. It does compare relatively well in terms of feature functionality to the Volkswagen system, however. Keep in mind that this is the last generation Hyundai system that the Elantra GT and the Elantra are still getting, so do expect an update around 2015 for the new 2016 model year Elantra and Elantra GT. Thanks for taking the time to check out this video. Again, I'm Alex Dykes, and this has been the Blue Link infotainment system in a 2014 Hyundai Elantra GT. Go ahead and click that subscribe banner at the bottom of your screen so you can be updated on all of my latest videos, including the full review of the 2014 Elantra GT. You can also find me over at facebook.com slash alexandautos, over at Twitter as alexandautos, and you can always email your questions to alex at alexandautos.com. I'll see you next week.